It is spooky October in Louisville, and with so many old great buildings in downtown, there is no shortage of Halloween haunts to enjoy. Can you guess where I am? We are focusing on two specific historic hotels, both on 4th Street, the fabled and famous Brown and Silback Hotels. Each are over 100 years old, and each have old world elegance, style, and supernatural residence. We're a very unique place that holds a lot of memories for a lot of Louisvillians. Our James Graham Brown was a fixture here. He built the Brown Hotel in 1923. There are a number of stories that get told from time to time. Our Mr. Brown was fond of standing in the mezzanine area, taking a look at what was going on in the lobby. There are people that say as they walk the third floor, they can feel his presence. Sometimes they say they could smell his cigar. Employees sometimes say that they get in an elevator and let's say they're heading to the ninth floor and the floor number will be pressed right when they walk in the elevator and they'll sometimes say, thank you, Mr. Brown. Ooh, scary. Heading toward the river on 4th Street, you will soon arrive at the world famous Steelback Hotel. The Beaux-Arts style building, which was the brainchild of immigrant brothers Otto and Louis Silbach, and built in 1905, was envisioned to embody the old world grandness of European hotels such as those in Paris and Vienna. Immortalized in print by F. Scott Fitzgerald in The Great Gatsby, and host to such guests as diverse as Elvis Presley, Julia Child, Billy Joel, and Al Capone, who used a secret passageway to avoid detection, there is no shortage of tall, perhaps true, and apocryphal tales to this hotel's history. But the creepiest guest of the Sealback has, as far as we know, never left. The Lady in Blue is a signature story of the hotel. In 1987, the two people saw her about 20 minutes apart. Now there has been people that say, on, especially on the eighth floor, late at nights, they'll feel a cool breeze blow by them. I had women tell me that they'll, they feel something touching their hair as they're walking down the hall. And my first question to them is, okay, how much bourbon did you drink last night? This has been her home for a lot of years and I don't think she's leaving us very soon. <laughs> Whether you are looking for rest and relaxation at an old world style hotel, or looking for a delightfully spooky time, communing with the other side, look no further than downtown Louisville. 